What if America had already built an aircraft that could carry an entire squadron of fighters into battle while staying invisible to every radar on Earth? The United States Air Force just revealed capabilities that sound like science fiction but are very real. We are talking about aircraft that can launch swarms of fighters mid-flight, bombers that vanish from frequencies designed to detect stealth jets, and sixth-generation fighters that rewrite the rules of air dominance. We are breaking down the most classified and powerful flying systems ever conceived, systems that have adversaries around the world reconsidering their entire defense strategies. For over 50 years, American defense engineers have pursued one revolutionary concept, turning massive aircraft into flying aircraft carriers. The idea first emerged during the Cold War when the Air Force recognized a critical limitation. Traditional aircraft carriers needed weeks to deploy, and land bases could be destroyed or denied by enemy forces. In the early 1970s, Boeing received a contract to study converting the 747 jumbo jet into an airborne aircraft carrier capable of launching, recovering, and rearming 10 specialized microfighters during flight. The concept was deemed technically feasible using 1970s technology, though astronomically expensive. But Boeing was not alone in this vision. Lockheed proposed an even more ambitious design called the CL-1201, a nuclear-powered flying fortress weighing 6,000 tons that could stay airborne for 41 days straight. This behemoth would carry 24 fighter bombers, have a crew of 475, and cruise at Mach 0.8 at altitudes above 16,000 feet. The nuclear reactor would generate 1.83 gigawatts of power, enough to keep this flying battle station operational without refueling for over 1,000 flight hours. While never built, these concepts laid the groundwork for what would eventually become reality. Fast forward to today, and the Air Force has transformed these dreams into operational systems through programs that remain largely classified. The technology has evolved from crude microfighters to autonomous drone swarms, from conventional fuel to advanced propulsion, and from simple concepts to integrated combat systems. Understanding how we got here requires examining three revolutionary programs that are reshaping American air dominance right now. In March 2025, the Air Force awarded Boeing a contract for the Next Generation Air Dominance Platform, officially designated the F-47 making it the world's first sixth-generation fighter aircraft. But here is what makes this truly revolutionary. The Air Force announced in 2020 that a full-scale technology demonstrator had already been flown and had broken multiple records. Think about that for a moment. While the public debated whether sixth-generation fighters were even possible, the Air Force had already built and tested one. The F-47 is not just another fighter jet. It is the quarterback of an entire aerial combat system. The aircraft features next-generation stealth that surpasses even the F-22 Raptor, sensor fusion capabilities that process information from dozens of sources simultaneously, and long-range strike capacity that extends America's reach by hundreds of miles. Air Force officials describe it as cheaper, longer range, and more stealthy than previous designs addressing three critical requirements for Pacific operations against peer adversaries. Each aircraft carries a price tag, exceeding $300 million, with the development phase alone requiring approximately $20 billion. But the real breakthrough is not the manned fighter itself. The F-47 is designed to command multiple collaborative combat aircraft, essentially loyal wingman drones that fly in formation and execute missions under the pilot's control. The Air Force plans to acquire approximately 200 manned NGAD fighters and more than 1,000 of these unmanned combat aircraft, following a 2 to 1 ratio with NGAD and F-35 aircraft. This creates a force multiplier effect, where one pilot commands multiple combat platforms simultaneously, overwhelming enemy defenses through sheer numbers and coordination. The capabilities are staggering. The F-47 incorporates broadband low observability, meaning it remains invisible, across all radar frequencies, not just specific bands. It features modular software and hardware architecture, allowing for rapid upgrades as technology advances, ensuring the platform remains dominant for decades. 
the aircraft is specifically designed for long-range missions in contested Pacific environments where aerial refueling may be denied or dangerous. According to Air Force leadership, comprehensive studies explored various alternatives, and none were as critical as NGAD for securing air superiority in highly contested arenas. Think about the strategic implications. China and Russia have spent decades developing air defense systems specifically designed to counter American stealth aircraft. The F-47 and its drone swarm render those investments obsolete by operating in frequencies and formations that existing systems cannot effectively engage. A single NGAD formation could sanitize an entire air defense network, clearing the way for follow-on strikes by bombers and conventional fighters. The aircraft conducts counter-air missions, performs air-to-air -air strikes, and attacks ground-based targets to provide air superiority for joint forces. While NGAD represents the manned component, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency has been perfecting the unmanned piece through the Gremlins program. In October 2021, DARPA achieved a historic milestone by successfully recovering an X-61 Gremlins drone mid-air from a C-130 cargo aircraft at Dugway Proving Ground in Utah. This was not just a technical achievement, it was proof that the flying aircraft carrier concept finally works. Here is how the system operates. The C-130 mothership launches multiple Gremlins drones that fly autonomously to conduct reconnaissance, electronic warfare, or strike missions deep in hostile territory. Each drone carries various payloads and transmits collected intelligence back to the mothership via data link in real time. When recovery time arrives, the pilot pushes a button on the instrument panel, and the Gremlins automatically fly in formation behind the C-130, like ducks following their mother. A specially designed recovery mechanism extends from the aircraft, capturing each drone and bringing it back inside the cargo bay. The recovery rate target is four drones in 30 minutes, allowing rapid turnaround for multiple mission cycles. Once recovered, ground crews can refurbish each drone for a completely different mission in less than 24 hours. DARPA plans to eventually enable in-flight refurbishment, dramatically extending the operational range and mission flexibility. This gives commanders a low-cost option for engaging adversaries without risking pilots or expensive manned aircraft. The X-47B program proved that fully autonomous aircraft can operate from carrier decks, arguably the most challenging aviation environment on Earth. This tailless unmanned combat air system measures 38.2 feet long, with a 62.1-foot wingspan, designed specifically for stealth and low observability. Northrop Grumman developed the X-47B with computer-controlled autonomous operations using a hybrid GPS vision-based navigation system that requires no human pilot input. Between 2012 and 2015, the X-47B completed a series of tests that stunned military observers. It successfully launched from the aircraft carrier USS Harry S. Truman, conducted autonomous arrested landings on pitching carrier decks, and performed autonomous aerial refueling operations. The system integrated seamlessly with carrier flight decks, hangars, and complex ship systems despite the harsh saltwater environment. By 2012, total program costs had reached approximately $813 million, but the Navy continued funding because they recognized the strategic value. The X-47B carries two weapon bays, holding up to 4,500 pounds of ordnance. It cruises at high subsonic speeds, approaching Mach 0.9, has a combat radius of 2,100 nautical miles, and can operate at altitudes up to 42,000 feet. The aircraft is equipped with electro-optical, infrared, synthetic aperture radar, inverse synthetic aperture radar, ground moving target indicator, electronic support measures, and maritime moving target indicator sensors. This sensor package allows the drone to identify targets, conduct reconnaissance, and launch precision strikes entirely autonomously. Consider what this means strategically. A carrier strike group can now launch drone swarms that penetrate air defense networks too dangerous for manned aircraft. These drones collect intelligence, suppress defenses, and conduct strikes while human pilots remain safely outside the threat envelope. 
If a drone is lost, you have lost a replaceable machine rather than an irreplaceable pilot with years of training and experience. The X-47B demonstrated that autonomous systems can handle the precision, timing, and spatial awareness required for carrier operations, removing the final barrier to widespread drone adoption. While fighters grab headlines, the B-21 Raider stealth bomber represents perhaps the most significant leap in American air power. Northrop Grumman received approval for low-rate initial production in January 2024, shortly after logging the maiden flight of this revolutionary aircraft. Currently, two B-21 Raidens are undergoing flight testing, with at least four more in final assembly and multiple examples in ground testing. The B-21 builds on lessons learned from its predecessor, the B-2 Spirit, but incorporates technologies that make it virtually undetectable. Unlike stealth fighters that are detectable, though not targetable using low-frequency radar bands, the flying wing design employed by the B-21 remains extremely stealthy against all radar frequencies. This makes these long-range bombers perfectly suited for strike operations in heavily contested airspace during the initial days of conflict. Here is the strategic calculus. If war broke out with China, it would almost certainly begin with B-21 fleets engaging anti-ship defenses along Chinese shores, clearing the way for aircraft carriers to close within striking distance. The bombers would penetrate sophisticated air defense networks that would shred conventional aircraft, eliminating surface-to-air missile sites, radar installations, and command centers. This creates the access that other forces need to conduct sustained operations. The Air Force is being extraordinarily secretive about B-21 specifications, but industry analysts believe it surpasses the B-2 in range, payload, stealth, and operational cost. The modular design allows for rapid technology insertion as new systems become available, ensuring the platform remains effective for decades. Northrop Grumman expects to receive its next production contract before the end of 2025, accelerating the build rate as manufacturing processes mature. Now here is where everything comes together. Imagine a future conflict scenario where B-21 Raiders conduct initial strikes to suppress enemy air defenses. F-47 NGAD fighters sweep in with their drone swarms to establish air superiority and eliminate any surviving threats. C-130 aircraft orbiting outside the threat range launch waves of Gremlin's drones for reconnaissance and electronic warfare, recovering them after each mission cycle for rapid turnaround. Meanwhile, carrier-based autonomous drones, like descendants of the X-47B, conduct maritime strikes and intelligence gathering. This is not science fiction, these are real programs at various stages of development and deployment right now. The integration of manned aircraft commanding unmanned swarms creates a force that no adversary can currently counter. When you combine stealth that defeats all known radar systems with autonomous platforms that can be risked in ways human pilots cannot, you get a qualitative advantage that is almost impossible to overcome. The combination of these programs fundamentally changes the calculus of air warfare. Traditional air defense strategies rely on detecting incoming threats, calculating intercept solutions, and engaging targets before they can complete their missions. But how do you engage targets you cannot see, that operate across frequency spectrums your systems were not designed to counter, and that come in swarms too numerous to defeat? China has invested hundreds of billions in advanced air defense networks, specifically designed to create anti-access area denial environments in the Pacific. These systems were built to counter American fighters and bombers using known stealth technology, the F-47, B-21, and autonomous drone systems render much of that investment obsolete because they operate using principles and capabilities these defenses cannot effectively engage. A comprehensive Air Force study concluded that none of the alternatives examined were as critical as NGAD for securing air superiority in highly contested arenas. Russia faces a similar challenge. Their integrated air defense systems are among the most sophisticated on Earth, but they are designed around assumptions about how American aircraft operate. When those assumptions no longer hold, when aircraft can coordinate autonomously at scales and speeds humans cannot match, 
the entire defensive architecture becomes vulnerable. This is why both nations are desperately trying to develop their own sixth-generation fighters and autonomous systems, but they are years behind American programs that have already flown. Critics point to the enormous costs of these programs. The F-47 development requires $20 billion before a single operational aircraft rolls off the production line, and each aircraft costs over $300 million. The B-21 program costs are classified but estimated in similar ranges. The X-47B program reached $813 million just for a technology demonstration. But consider the alternative. Failing to maintain air superiority in a peer conflict means American forces cannot operate, allies cannot be defended, and adversaries gain freedom of action that threatens vital national interests. The cost of developing and fielding these systems is measured in billions, but the cost of losing air dominance in a major conflict would be measured in trillions and potentially in American lives on a scale not seen since World War II. Air Force officials emphasized that NGAD is just one facet of the broader and more critical issue surrounding effective air superiority in future major conflicts, particularly those involving China in the Pacific. Moreover, autonomous systems dramatically reduce long-term costs. Each Gremlin's drone provides combat capability at a fraction of the cost of a manned fighter. These drones can be risked in situations where losing a $300 million F-47 and its irreplaceable pilot would be unacceptable. The ability to rapidly refurbish and redeploy drones for different missions maximizes asset utilization. This is the flying aircraft carrier concept finally realized in an economically sustainable form. These programs are the start of a new era in air warfare, not the end state. According to Open Plans, the Air Force wants roughly a thousand collaborative drones supporting about 200 NGAD fighters, so uncrewed systems could outnumber crewed jets by around 5 to 1, and that balance will likely grow as artificial intelligence improves. DARPA, the Navy and other agencies are already pushing follow-on systems beyond today's Gremlin-style drones and sixth-generation concepts, with additional classified efforts almost certainly building on what has been proven so far. The United States Air Force is advancing air superiority through sixth-generation fighters, stealth bombers, and autonomous drone systems. These programs are currently in development and testing. Three key developments. DARPA has demonstrated mid-air drone recovery. The F-47 NGAD is designed to command drone swarms, and the B-21 Raider provides deep penetration strike capability. If this defense content interests you, hit subscribe. Next time, we examine how these air systems integrate with space-based assets for multi-domain operations.